Hello everyone, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another Java tutorial. If you're doing this tutorial right now, you should have already learned how to output a string to the screen. So uh, in the previous tutorial, we, we made up one program or one source file called hello.java. And in this source file, we had one class called hello, one method called main, and one statement that prints out to the screen a string hello. So don't worry about classes and methods at the moment. Let's just introduce you guys to some uh, basic programming principles before we get into classes and methods. So basically all you have to know is within this main method is what the Java program will execute. Okay, so in here what we're going to do now is we're going to create a variable now a variable is like a box that contains a piece of information. So let's say we create a variable called name and inside this name variable we're going to contain a piece of string. So put string space name equals. Now what we're going to put inside this variable or inside this box is we're going to put in whatever your name is. So right now I'm going to put in Eddie. Okay, so we've stored the information Eddie inside this variable called name. And what happens is later on, any time where I need Eddie appearing in this program, I just use uh, the word name instead of Eddie. So here where it says system dot out dot print line hello. I'm going to change it to say hello space and then I'm going to put a, spe uh, a plus sign after the quotation mark and then put a bit of a space in between and then I'm going to put in the variable name. Okay so what's going to happen is if I run this program it's going to say hello Eddie. Um, so if I run this program now It says hello Eddie down the bottom. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is uh, why do we want variables? Right? Why can't we just say hello Eddie inside here? Because the first reason is later on if we want to refer to this um, information again, so let's say I have two lines now that I'm printing. So let's print another line now and I say Eddie name plus so whatever is in this variable plus uh, so plus just joins two strings together so we have one string and another string here combined Eddie is a great name okay so if I run this program now it'll output two lines it says, hello Eddie. Eddie is a great name. Okay, sorry, I should have put a bit of a space bar here. Eddie is a great name. Let's do that again. Hello Eddie. Eddie is a great name. Okay, so the reason why we use a variable is because let's say I've decided I don't want to be Eddie anymore. I want to be John. What you can do is at the top where it says Eddie, you simply change this Eddie to John. And then it's going to update throughout this whole program wherever the box or the variable name is referred to. It's going to put the word John there. So it's automatically replaced the contents of all these boxes. So if you run hello now, it says, hello John, John is a great name, whereas before it said Eddie. Okay, so that's one reason to use variables, when you want to replace the contents uh, every time it occurs throughout the program. The next reason you want to use variables uh, is because once you put stuff in a variable, you can do things with it. Okay, so one of the things you can do with a string variable is to find out how many characters it has. 
So if I copy this line again, and then I'm going to change it so that it says your name has and then I'm gonna put a plus sign on the end and then I'm gonna get the information from the variable name so I put name dot okay now these are all the things that you can do to a string variable or all the things that the string variable can provide you with so uh, let's find out the length of it so let's double click length and then I'm going to put another plus sign and then I'm going to put quotation mark space characters so theoretically what this is saying is that it will tell me how many characters I have in my um, name so let's run this now so it says hello John John is a great name your name has four characters okay so let's change that to let's say a very long name so let's change it to can't think of a long name right now Alexander and if I run this now it says hello Alexander Alexander is a great name your name has nine characters okay so that's it for today thanks for watching see you next time